In real life situations, it's often very difficult to calculate the probability of an event or an outcome based on theoretical reasoning. Let's look at an example to see what we can do in this type of situation. So for example, suppose that we wanted to know the probability that it will snow on Christmas Eve at Dublin Airport. It's very difficult to calculate this probability based on theoretical reasoning. We'd have to have a very detailed and deep understanding of meteorology and weather systems to be able to work this out based on purely theoretical reasoning. However, this, this question is of interest to many people. Imagine that you plan to travel home from abroad on Christmas Eve. Well, you might be very interested to know the probability of snow at Dublin Airport. So what can you do in a situation like this? One strategy is to look for some relevant data and try to estimate the probability from the data. So in this case, we might look at the Met Aaron records and see how often it has snowed at Dublin Airport in the past. So let's say that Met Aaron tells us that it has snowed on Christmas Eve at Dublin Airport in 10 of the last 50 years. So what can we conclude from that? Well, we can conclude that the relative frequency of the event, the event being snowing on Christmas Eve, is 10 over 50. The number of times it happened in the last 50 years is 10, and the total number of years is 50. So the relative frequency of snow on Christmas Eve is 10 over 50. And that's equal to 1 over 5, or 0 0.2. And so we use this as an estimate of the probability. So we might estimate that the probability of the event that it will snow on December 24th at Dublin Airport is 0 0.2. So this is a good way to estimate the probabilities of real life events where theoretical reasoning will only get us so far and often we have to resort to data to find estimates for the probability. A very important point to make about this method is that the larger the data set we have, the better the estimate. In the example above, we used data from 50 years to estimate the probability of snow at Dublin Airport on Christmas Eve. If instead we'd had data from, say, only five years, then our estimate would have been much less reliable. So a small data set gives you a poor estimate of the probabilities, and a large data set is likely to give you a much more accurate estimate of the probabilities.